Trucking Journey. I'm Trucker Jim coming to you from Laredo, Texas. That is my new truck, the 2021 International LT. I've got about 3,000 miles on it so far, and it's doing a park regen. It was its idea, not mine, but I did idle last night because it was like 100 degrees here in Laredo. And ready to leave Laredo. I have been dispatched a load that's going to Houston and then I'm moving some empty trailers around, but they won't let me take it yet. They, not being GMP or NFI, but these guys. Yeah, uh. But as soon as that is done, we will get on the road. Unfortunately, my clock has already started. But we are full of fuel, we are full of death. We're doing a part regen, so hopefully that'll be finished soon. So I had a little time on my hands, so I thought, why not make a video? That was just like, that red Volvo right there is just like the truck I used to have last week. But I don't have it anymore. But we are coming to you from the southeastern yard. The work order always has Valdan on it, which Valdan is next door. But since the whole Corona thing started, I haven't been inside Valdan. My bills, this little trailer over here, which I haven't done that yet. That is a driver of the year truck right there. Nobody's in there at the moment. He's doing an inspection. Which any time a trailer is going to cross the border, it has to be inspected by somebody. We get ours inspected here and it comes with a little sheet for where you drop it off. Then it crosses the border and it's been inspected. Everything's in good shape and it should come back that way because it's also going to be inspected on the way back. My trailer got inspected on the way back and at Houston. It's the one they're fixing a brake or something on right now. It's got a red airline lock on it. All right, I've got my paperwork. So as soon as they take an airline seal off of that trailer, we'll hook up to it if it has black rubbers. This is what I mean. See how the airline seals are gone on that one? Gone on this one. Hey, this one has them. None there, none there. Hey, did you put those airline seals on? I came with it. Man, today's your lucky day, Daniel Blue. <laughs> Bowie. Yep. All right, you be safe. This is the trailer I'm taking, and it doesn't have airline seats. Well, now I know what's wrong. Oil had got, I'm sorry, water had got in the oil in the hubcap on this front axle right here and they're waiting on the parts and they've got to do both sides. So I don't know how long you think that's going to take. Leave your guess below in the comments. I noticed that I didn't have much space behind the cab and the trailer and now I see why. Look how far my fifth wheel is slid up. Almost as far as it will go. So once I get hooked to this trailer we'll slide our fifth wheel. And I bet a few of you are going to learn you something because you don't know how to slide your fifth wheel. Good for you guys. I do know how to slide my fifth wheel. <gasps> yeah, that's right. Anybody that slid it before know it's so easy to boom, go all the way to the back and then boom, go all the way to the front. We're not going to do that. We're going to set it dead center, people. But that's going to be a little bit before we have an opportunity to do that because I've got like water in my oil and my hubs in the front axle or, or something like that. And uh, so I got to sit still. So I'm going to hop in the cab, edit up until this point hopefully, and then when we come back, we'll hook up to this trailer, put our black rubbers on there, slide the fifth wheel, and then we'll start headed north. All right, I got good news and bad news. The bad news is the parts still aren't here. It's almost noon, but the good news is that gives us time. This ain't the trailer I'm taking. I'm borrowing this trailer because to slide your fifth wheel 
Well, you have to be hooked up to a trailer. If you're already hooked to the trailer and you have to slide your fifth wheel because of, you know, getting your weight, axle weight right or something, you'll want to lower your landing gear. Since this is sitting here and not connected to a truck, we don't have to lower the landing gear. That's already done. Our height is just fine. So the first step of this is I'm going to hook up to the trailer. See what I mean though? That's a little close to the cabin. I don't know how well this is showing up, but there's three pins that lock the fifth wheel into place and they're starting, they're almost as far up as they can get. Now there are a few steps to this. You might want to take notes, young truck drivers, or new truck drivers. Now our landing gear is pretty much already on the ground. I want to make sure there's a little bit of tension. Now we're going to hop back in the truck for two reasons. Number one, we're going to go ahead and drop our airbags on the truck, and we're going to hit our slide fifth wheel. Okay, did y'all see that? Those pins just went in, but there was a delay. I hit that moments ago, well, a few seconds ago anyway, and they just went in. So now the fifth wheel can slide. Now I'm gonna leave the camera out here because I wanna see what it looks like too. And I'm gonna go inside, keep in mind, I'm not hooked to the trailer, so I'm not gonna press the red button, just the yellow brakes, which are the truck air brakes. And I'm gonna ease back. Actually, I had it backwards. I needed to pull forward, which I did, and look at it now. Well, that didn't go exactly as planned. This tool is not helpful in the least bit on the Jost fifth wheel. Now, fifth wheels I've had in the past, there were spaces that were like this same size, and you could slide it all the way in, and it would bump it. But it's definitely freed up some space right in here and it's not so close so that is a good thing that's a reason for doing it right there this 2021 does not have an automatic kingpin release switch inside the cab but it's pretty easy to pull and release so now we'll unhook and we'll wrap this video up how about that It is much, much cooler inside the cab versus outside. We were still waiting on the part to get here. But that is how you slide your fifth wheel, ladies and gentlemen. Well, all right. It's time to wrap this video up. I appreciate everyone making it to the end. There was a little card that popped up earlier in the video if you wanted to see the driver of the year video when Daniel got his truck. And I will be checking the comments of this video. Hope that helps out someone that's in a situation that needs to slide their fifth wheel. It's not something you have to do all the time, but you need to know how to do it. Ooh, look, I think my part's here. The Mexicans are going to work on the trailer. So that means we'll get back trucking real soon. But until then, everybody, be safe out there and keep on trucking. Everybody going through it.